What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. I post a video Monday through Friday on designer and contemporary fashion, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any one of my uploads. And I did start a Poshmark closet, so if you are interested in, I'll leave the link down below. If you want to shop my things, I'll be adding things periodically, not... Oh my god guys, <laughs> we have a haul, another haul, super frequently, but... I Wait till you see all this stuff guys. I really really a lot of the things. There's one thing that I never thought I would buy I bought it spontaneously So let's go ahead and just get started. There's so 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 much good stuff So have your have your tea your water your Starbucks drink. I'm currently drinking a lot of water recently I've been trying to cut down well I haven't drink soda like in a month unless it's mixed with alcohol I've been really really um, trying to limit my sugary drinks because I find that that's where a lot of the calories that I get is by just drinking very sugary drinks so I've just been kind of stopping down I'll leave the links for everything down below including some great cell links and let's go ahead and get started guys there are a lot of great things so I kind of want to start with the with the thing that I'm like so kind of bleh about like I'm just the one that's like oh like I cannot believe so uh, I was on the website you guys already knew this before I go to sleep I go on websites right and I just like look and I saw this popped up on sale for I think 60% off and I bought it and I got it I'm not sure how I feel about it like it is just not a me bag I feel like I would use it for a month and then I would probably just sell it which there's nothing wrong with that like I love using things in the moment but I don't know I need your guys' opinion like I, I I know that this is not like I feel like maybe because it's Valentine's Day and like it's been this is gonna be a really great Valentine's Day for me and so maybe that's why I'm kind of into like the color pinks and stuff like that and then I have another item that's pink as well that I'm actually I already know that I'm gonna keep and wear so we shall see I'm gonna show you the item so it is from Valentino it is my Valentino handbag in my collection or just to even experience it I have it right here I'm gonna show it to you um, still not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not um, but here it is oh my god and it is this beautiful guys like this dust bag is like nothing compared to this like this dust bag makes this bag look bad the dust bag should be different it is look at the color a color you guys i've been loving color and look how beautiful this is this is a valentino rock stud satchel it has the actual um handle as you can see it is in pink glitter now this is typically not something that i would go for this is typically not my style but i just gravitated towards it for no i don't know why like i said i feel like it's because it's valentine's day and i've been feeling myself i've been working out like i just i feel like this has just been calling for the mood so it has this beautiful um kind of it has like a little bit of a pink tint to it and the lighting this the only thing is about this is that the glitter is like it's not sealed glitter so over time pieces can fall off but look how beautiful that is oh, the handle um the chain you can remove the chain i personally feel like i would wear it without the chain um but i do like that you have the option just because this material since it's not sealed it can rub across and, it, and i feel like specs would fall off more easily but also in general i i find that i love to carry top handles or in the crook of my arm and so this is just uh, she's such a stunner like she like is beautiful reminds me of the ysl lulu bag that i bought last year and i'll enter the picture of it right here she reminds me of that how when i loved it i just had such a honeymoon phase with it and then i fell out of love with it and i got rid of it to keep that I, I know that this is not a forever bag in my collection this is a bag that i would use for the next kind of 60 to 90 days and then I would just sell it um, just because I feel like th this isn't like this is kind of like a honeymoon bag I'm like I'm just like stunned even with the lace pants that I'm wearing from Selma McCartney that I got at TK Maxx I'm just like I'm, I'm, I'm like here for it. like look how beautiful that is I'm actually gonna take the chain off because um, I feel like I, pr I don't like it with the chain like it looks fine but I feel like it takes away from the classiness of, of the handbag. But the chain is really pretty though. I do like the chain. I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't. Because I do. Her up. Oh, she's such a beauty. 
The and then the only thing it has the plastic where the chain was. It has some stuffing. The only thing about the rock sets, and I talked about this on handbags not to buy, and I talked about with the Valentino box, you have to be very careful. So I don't this is like brand new as you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's indentations from the spikes. So whenever you hit the flap, these studs right here hit the bag. I wish they would stop the studs in the flap. And so whenever you open it, um, there's no damage on here, but over time, or let's say like if you're walking and you have to squeeze your bag, you're gonna squeeze these spikes into this very beautiful smooth leather, and eventually there's gonna be very, like there's some deep indentations, but it's gonna be even marked more. So that's the only thing is if I do use it, I don't want to get a lot of wear on it, and then it's basically trash. That's the only con. If not, I would have already started using it. Um, it has a beautiful pink pocket. It is lined with leather. It has Valentino in red right there. It is such a beautiful bag. Like, this is a stunning bag. I wish you would think that Valentino, a multi-million or billion dollar brand, they would be innovative enough, and I feel like they would even save on time. Um, just by stopping doing the studs here so whenever you wear the flap this studs doesn't damage the very smooth leather or they would do this in a different material so that's the only con and like I said I have talked about that before where I feel like that is the only thing that draws me away from the bag I love this bag one of my favorite bloggers high low Lux. she has this bag I believe in two or three variations I take a lot of inspiration from her she's one of my absolute favorite content creators and so this kind of like it kind of gave me like high low looks vibes um but yeah i just i love it so we shall see one of my friends is going to come over tonight is going to look at it and is going to give an informative opinion so I, I i just love it guys i i i'm like obsessed with it but i really want you guys are my friends as well i want your input on it i know that this is not going to be a bag that i will use forever i paid 12 for it so um i'm not sure like I don't know if I should keep it or I should not keep it um, or do you think that after like I wear it two times I find out that I won't like it so um, I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below um, but this is such a stunning 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 handbag such a beauty so uh, please let me know what you guys think of this I am 100% um, obsessed with it but it could be that I'm just I'm just having a honeymoon stage with it but I love the hardware yeah it does have a tint of pink on it uh, such a beautiful bag but we shall see we shall see but I would love to hear your opinions on it but uh, it goes perfectly with this outfit this white um, naked wardrobe bodysuit these Stella McCartney lace pants they're very very Valentine's Day ish and I'm kind of living for it. So we shall see guys. These even now in my trousers that are lace. The, I am on the floor. I can see specks of glitter. So um, friends let me know. I really want an honest opinion. What do you guys think? Because I know that I'm not going to keep this forever. Should I just put this towards something else that I was going to buy? That's off the way. I kind of want to show you the other pink thing. Why not have like a fun Valentine's Day kind of like chit chat. So... One of my favorite essays texted me was like, you need to come in store. I have some pieces of ready to wear uh, that you need to try on. Um, they're all on sale, 60% off. And I know that you don't like monogram or you like monogram, but a little bit more discreet. And I feel like this would be something that is your, like, like I said, I have conversations with essays that I work with and I told them like what I like, what I don't like. And obviously they always send me photographs. Of every single item just because it's me like I, I'm the you know I <laughs> I'm into different things and so I went to store and I tried it on and it is this beautiful guys and I already know I'm keeping it because I already removed the tag but I haven't I, ha I have yet to wear it because uh, I was sampling this with outfits this is a 100% silk top from Burberry but the reason why I like this top is that I feel like my style is elevated. I feel like I would have worn the traditional plaid, which I have like two years ago. And I'm filming in natural daylight, so the lighting could be a little off. The pink of it, it is absolutely beautiful. And the thing is, this was kind of like sat down and it did not wrinkle at all. Like I could tell that this silk is beautiful. Like this is the silk that they use on their scarves, on their accessories. 
Um, such a beautiful, beautiful. This one's in a size 10. I normally get eight, but I love the fit of this. I can even wear it with this set right here. I just love it and I'm planning to take a vacation. This is something I can wear underneath a swim brief, like that's white with some beautiful sunglasses and a beach tote. So I already took off the tie, I already know I'm keeping it, but she is such a beautiful stunner. And this is how I feel like I'm gonna do monogram um, or, or branded in the future instead of wearing kind of like something that's very expected, like a Burberry birthday shirt maybe something like this that's a silk shirt but it is burberry but it's not like i don't know some people may say one of my friends is like girl you can tell this is burberry but some you may not even be able to tell it's just tv so people could also think it's troy birch but like this is i got this and then i got this so maybe that's why i got kind of obsessed with this kind of pink phase but i already know i'm keeping the top but it is such beautiful um i didn't know that burberry a lot of their ready to wear i know like some of like they're more like polos and stuff were made in china um but this one is actually made in china and this one this was a top that retailed for over one so it was made in china i thought that i thought a lot of their clothing was made in um italy or like in eastern european countries but there's nothing wrong with that like regardless where it's made from because this is a beautiful top like it's very well made as you can see like it is such a beautiful i think it goes well with my skin tone i love i've been losing weight like i just love this color and even like this is a when i bought this i know i said this is kind of a forever piece because it has pink but it's not like hot pink it's not super pink it's just like the perfect amount of pink and that goes with my skin tone this is something that i could use all the time this is something that i could always reference and um i've been wanting to invest a little bit on ready to wear that's ex not expected of, from me but that i would get a lot of wear out of so i can wear it with this outfit i can wear it with some blue shorts in the summertime with the white bodysuit underneath it i can wear this um i can just wear this with a swimsuit i can use this as a little cover-up because it does cover a little bit of the bottom so i just feel like this is the perfect brunch shirt so i will be wearing this a lot during the spring and summertime so i i, <laughs> I think it's such a beautiful top so um i'm glad to have this in my collection so um this is this the rest of the video i don't know why so back to the burberry phase i also have a top so i have a burberry swim bottom that i got last year and i did wear it last year so i wanted kind of like a swim top to go with it so i can wear it as a matching set and so i got found this one this one's in an extra small but it fits incredibly big um like super super big it has the swan right here it says burberry and i got this one for 135 it was 70 percent off and that's what i mean you can find really great deals on burberry ready to wear or burberry clothes at the end of season like neiman marcus Saks, nordstrom bloomingdale sells um you can find them at the end of the season so you that's why i always say when i go to the outlets i feel like they're not really good deals because i feel like something like this would still be like 250 or 225 at the outlet so um it's with the swan i like it because it kind of reminds me of summer this is just a classic uh printed tee this is not something that i see myself like wearing maybe by itself maybe like one or two times but this is a piece that i see myself having it as a set so i'm planning to i'm working out a lot i'm eating a lot better so i'm planning to actually do like a lot of swimming a lot of like being out in the sun being like on vacations um this is like the first year where i'm actually going to be taking like an actual vacation so um that's why i've been really into spring stuff so this is kind of this is like something that i would complement during my springtime or my summertime and the, it's like it pokes out so it's kind of like you can feel it but such a beautiful top i really really enjoy it and this is going to get a lot of wear so i mean it's just a classic uh, top and the thing is about this like i could always give this to my brother my brother would be more than happy to wear this by himself like this fits like a men's medium like this is not an i know it says extra small but girl this is not an extra small this is a medium um so my brother could also wear this too so after maybe i'm done with it i know that he'll definitely wear this and maybe my mom will steal this from me i have that burberry top um i have a pair of golden goose so same thing i think i got these like 60 percent off golden goose i actually no i think i got them 70 so i think nordstrom was doing 60 percent off and then extra 25 on older designer items there was like some exclusions i believe but these ones were included and so i ended up paying like 140 for them 
and I came with the box, I came with everything. And since I have been more into the browns, as you can see, and a lot of my clothes have been more like whites and like beige, I feel like this one absolutely went with my kind of new wardrobe. Like they literally spoke to me. Like I think these ones were made for me. So they are these golden blue sneakers. And what I love about them is the cream um, going around it. I think that's what I love most about it. These ones are in a size 41. They say Golden Goose um, slash private edition. They have the Golden Goose, the tongue is white. I know some people care for Golden Gooses, some people don't. I actually kind of like them. I think they're I think they're cute. They definitely add a different aesthetic to my outfit. Um, it depends. Some days I want to be very crisp, clean, and proper. And I wear like a loafer. I wear trousers. I'll wear a beautiful top. But some days I want to wear jeans, a bodysuit, these shoes, and like a, like a sweater. You know what I mean? Like it always depends what I want. But I always just make sure I look sophisticated in whatever I wear. So I saw them. Um, I tried them on. I liked them. And I wore them out. So um, when I first got them, I was like, mm, I was like, my brother would actually really like these too. We're about the same shoe size. But I know I wore them out and I've been wearing them very frequently ever since I got them. So no, they're definitely for me. So I want to share with you, amigas, these golden gooses. And yeah, I, I can't say anything negative about them. I, I, I think they're beautiful. Um, I always get asked why sometimes I don't vlog when I buy all these stuff. A lot of these things get shipped for me from different parts of the US through different essays. So um, if you're an essay, you can always send my DM if there's something good on sale. Because I, I may be intrigued to purchase it. So um, yeah, that's why since I get DMs and I get messages from people and I get offered things. So that's how I do it. Is this road top. So if you saw my last haul, you saw that I got the black version of this. And so I got offered this one, and it's the same size, size large and white, and I got it. It's beautiful, it's from the top. I already, um, I took a picture on Instagram story with the top, so every time I take an Instagram picture, I tend to take the tag off. Have not worn it yet. This is gonna be something I'm gonna be wearing in the spring and summer. It has a beautiful slit detail. It fits impeccable. This one, you can wear this by yourself with shorts. You can wear this with even like this beautiful peak top. Um, it's just a very versatile piece during the summertime and I got this one for $108 so or $110 and this is still available on the Saks website so I'll make sure to leave a link down below and they also have the black one and they're the same price or $110 so I like them I, I, I just appreciate them I know it's a simple tank top but things like this make me happy some people get happy off of cars electronics uh, other things food i get really really excited over clothing and accessories so that's kind of my cup of tea so uh classic white tank top from the row i think i'll be doing a video on the row it's one of my absolute favorite brands i've only had row items for less than a year and every single item that i have i reach for all the time i really like it i'm always happy to use them so yeah um, do really really like that top from the row. Marcus was having a sale and they were doing 80% off guys. Yes, 80% off. They were doing like 60 or 70 or 75% off the tag and then they're doing an additional 20. So I just happened to walk through there um, that, cause that's where I parked and I saw this top and it was only like $20. It was a $100 Vince top and I saw it and I tried it on. Uh, I know I went to try on a $20 top but who knows, who cares? So I bought it, it's in a size medium. I wore it on my last video that I had that I wore the Rebecca Taylor outfit. I wore this with it. I wore it another day during the weekend. And this is just good because I like how elegant it looks versus a regular t-shirt because it has it goes a little bit longer. So I feel like it covers, I don't know, it just looks more classy. And the material is really good. I, I know that this is gonna wear really nicely, even in the wash. Um, I tend to put more in the wash, I just don't dry them. Um, such a beautiful top. I love it, and if I find another one uh, for around the same price, I'll probably purchase it. Um, when I find a good quality basic, I tend to reach for it, so I know this is going to be something that I'm going to reach for a lot. So it's great. I love me some good classic basics. I think a wardrobe is made from basics like this, and I, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. So yeah, I have those two white tops. I have a cell trouser. Um, from Bottega Veneta. I took the tags off because I'm about to go get it altered, but I wanted to film it because my alteration lady usually takes, she's been a little bit on demand, so I think it takes her about two weeks. I wanted to, uh, to show you before I sent it. So these are these Bottega Veneta pants. These ones are in a size eight. Um, they fit long, so they are a beautiful Bottega Veneta trouser. I've been wanting a nice 
Vince trouser for the longest, but I find that they don't make wool pants anymore, and a lot of them have polyester and stuff, which is fine. But to, for me to pay retail, I or over three hundred dollars, because that's what I've been accustomed to to pay for Vince pants, because I have some that are like from five years ago that literally are in perfect condition. They're just they they just changed to polyester into other materials, and I'm like I'm not paying three hundred dollars for some polyester pants. I'm sorry, I'm just not. And so these were these ones were on sale um, for the same price of a, as a Vince pants. And I said, you know, it just ha it so happens to be Bottega Veneta. If they were in any other brand and they were a classic pant, I would do it too. Um, it is pretty long and it does have a zipper here on the side and it goes all the way down. But I find that the way I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna have to cut the zipper off, which is fine. And I feel like I will have to get it um, in, in the back. But what I love is that it has this little triangle kind of like for Bottega Veneta. It's a little bit more high-waisted, so it kind of covers kind of my challenge area right here. So it's going to look phenomenal on um, Bottega Veneta Fall 20, made in Italy. Um, but they are a beautiful trouser. Like, you can tell, like, this is... And this is something that I'm going to have forever. I can wear it with this outfit. I can wear it with the white t-shirt, with the white tank top. So um, I know this is more, like, of a Vince retail price point. But these are... I'm going to have these forever. I have literally have had Vince pants in my collection back then for like literally five years and they literally look brand new so i know something like this um will last me forever and then when i do get things altered i find that i reach for them a lot more so a lot of my vince pants are altered i have or a lot of my trousers i get like get them altered e either uh, ankle height um and i use them all the time so once i get this altered it's going to be something i'm gonna be using right now in the summertime i'm going to be wearing it around it's going to be something that i'm going to keep on reaching and reaching and reaching for so um, I don't mind paying a little bit more if um, if I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. So since I have these, I feel like I don't really need a black pant. I already have enough black pants. And I just needed like another nice one because my Vince one, uh, even though I've had it for such a long time, like five years, it just needed to get replaced. It was like super, super worn. And so I just needed a new one. So I'm glad that I found these. They just happen to be BB, 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 Boutique of Veneta. And so, yeah, I mean, can't say anything wrong. They'll go well with the road top, the Vince top. I can even wear it with that Burberry top or this one here. I like is that everything kind of mixes and matches in my collection. Um, we're down to the last three items guys. Oh my god. I just love talking to you guys I've just life has been really great. Oh, I forgot. I have actually five items Charlotte Tilbury, I've been into makeup airbrush flawless setting spray. Absolutely love um, I, I like it this airbrush Flawless foundation <laughs> I got color matched a little dark like when I tell you dark. I mean this is um eight warm and this one is way too dark like even in the summertime i feel like this is way too dark on me so i will be going and getting um this in a couple shades lighter not super light like i want it to be maybe my shade but darker but this one was like literally five shades too dark and it was super yellowy so i will change that out but um, let me know if you want to see it get ready with me i would love to do one so we can just kind of like chit chat in the avla so what about those two um, oh, the same day that I was passing through Neiman Marcus, oh, that's why I don't like parking there because stuff like this always happens. But I actually really want it. Another Bottega Veneta find. Um, so a lot of you guys know that I don't like Louis Vuitton. I just don't care for them. Um, I know a lot of people that have worked for them allegedly, and I there's a reason why I don't care for it. Is all I'm gonna say. There's a reason behind why I don't do certain things on the channel. And so it's not something that represents me and my values and the people that they represent. So therefore, I'm not going to be purchasing from them. And that goes for, you know, other brands that are in that same space, if you know what I mean. And so I wanted to replace it. And same thing, it just happened to be Bottega Veneta. I was trying on a clutch and she told me that this one was on sale. I went for it. She was so lovely. Like she gave me, uh, she, I asked her, oh, do you have a box or anything for it? And she was like, oh, she was like, who are you? I feel like, I feel like you're kind of like somebody, like you look familiar. And then I told her and she was just like really nice. And so she ended up actually giving me the Bottega Veneta, like the newer box, even though this is kind of old Bottega, because it does, well not old, but it's like the previous packaging where it says the Bottega Veneta. But she gave me the box and I, I don't, I'm not a sucker for boxes at all. Like my, all my boxes over time, I tend to just kind of dispose of, I'll recycle them. 
but this box i just love it like i have it right here in this coffee table and it's just like right there with all my candles like i, I just don't know why like i just love 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 it like it just looks so cute doesn't it like i don't i like i said i knew nunca me pongo excited over a box like it's just a box at the end of the day not even like the chanel ones or the immersed ones but something about this color i told you green is one of my favorite colors even though i may not wear it um green's my favorite color but that could also be because my dad's favorite color is green too I bought this it was uh 120 dollars and i looked at the retail and it was like a hundred and no it was like 300 dollars and so it is this so the reason why i got rid of the keychain other than why i don't care for lb i don't really carry my cards in that pouch i never really put anything on there back then when i didn't really have like wallets and stuff i would put my money i would put my cards in there but now i don't now that i actually carry wallets and you know handbags i'll put my handbag and then i'll kind of have this right so i just wanted something to just have my hold all my keys I found it. It is a beautiful weaving. It goes well with my Jody, but yet again, it goes with every bag. I love the top. If I really need to um, make sure I have it, I can wear it as a lanyard. Maybe the nights that I go out, like when I'm leaving, when I'm going to my house or my apartment, uh, when I'm going out, like, I don't know. I just like the how it's a long strap and then i can kind of tie a knot in my trouser if i know i may lose it or wherever i'm at and so nobody doesn't snatch it i just really like it and it's actually like i don't know if you guys can hear that like this is like a really nice like weaving on it so i found it i like it and now i found a replacement for my lb key pouch so i don't really need that anymore um last two items lo wave bag so my friend has been offering me like Sergio you should buy this you should buy this and we were kind of just like about the price and so one day I was like what's the lowest that you would sell it not like I wasn't trying to lowball him but I was just like you know like what's a good deal like can you do me a good deal like I, um you know I, I bought in so many things from you this is the same person that I got the Goyard case from the Gucci wallet the Saint Laurent tote and the same person so it's like you know what I've worked with you come on just throw me a good offer and this bag retailed for ten fifty, and he said two forty, and I was like done two forty because I think initially we had said three, but two forty. I said absolutely yes, perfect summer bag. Like look at the colors. Like I said, I want to do colors, but like in a neutral and fun way. And so this with like a goldie shorts with the white road tank top, walking through the market, walking through vacations beautiful like i love it it fits my laptop too i love denim i love the tan i can turn it around be more discreet i can be a little bit more fun the ins this is a really well made tote bag when i first saw it like when i saw it, i was like oh it's just a tote bag but this is actually made really well loewe um made in spain it has a beautiful pocket on the inside it's like has this kind of suede material and also on the inside it has it's like lined in suede so this is not like your average like tote bag like this is actually like made phenomenally well like esta bonita esta preciosa i've never seen nobody have this bag so that's what i also liked about it that it's like a bag that you won't see anybody else have and it's just kind of like a classic shopper and this is gonna go well with a lot of the things that i have prepped for spring and summer uh, so um this will be something that i will get a lot of wear out of and i'm planning to do quite a bit of vacationing so it's going to be perfect for it and it's really nice to travel with it i can just put it flat i can put it in my carry-on or in my chicken luggage and it's just like the nicest bag to travel with because what you have to do is it literally lays flat so i just wanted things that were going to be super functional and so this fits a lot it's beautiful like really well made like i said it has it's lined in suede beautiful leather um it's in good condition like i just i just had to say yes and so who loves a good pre-loved deal because i do so this is my pre-loved item um this is um so i love it the last thing is these lori harvey pants x naked wardrobe i actually really like lori harvey i think she's a beautiful young lady and i like how she carries herself elevated way i just love it you know i never i didn't hear her voice until i actually kind of saw videos of her over like i just i just tend to really like her so when she came out with her collection with naked wardrobe i got the sweatpants in the chocolate color i got them in a size small they fit absolutely perfectly but i ordered a top but some of the tops were like very croppy 
So I ended up buying them like I bought the larges and the extra larges so they are like a little bit more loose so it kind of covers and these ones are pretty high waisted so you'll probably see that like in a lookbook or on Instagram but I did get these Lori Harvey X naked wardrobe pants and so you'll probably see me rock them with my uh, chocolate cassette and I just <laughs> I just really like Lori Harvey this uh, body suits from naked wardrobe I love their stuff and so yeah I, I got them so um, you'll probably see me style them or I'll when, actually when I get the crop like the crop tops Hopefully they're not super crappy. Hopefully they're a little bit more loose Hopefully I can make it work and maybe wear like a jacket over it. So yeah, I got the Lori Harvey X naked wardrobe sweatpants And yeah guys, that's gonna be my haul um, Make sure to check my Poshmark. I will be listing a lot more things there will be a lot more decluttering videos. There's actually quite a bit of things that I've been wanting to get rid of. And so I've been finally listing. It was so cute because I put my Poshmark like 15 minutes and within 15 minutes I already <laughs> made my first sell, which I think was really nice. But yeah, guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I love each and every single one of you. I'll try to find the links down below. I would love to hear your opinions on this one because this is kind of like the puppy of this haul. This one, the Bottega Veneta trousers, this top, and the Louis Vuitton back. I think those are the most conversational pieces of this haul. So I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below. And have you been finding any great things on the designer sales? And I told you, this box just kind of like gravitates towards you. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I love each and every single one of you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Los quiero, los quiero, los quiero mucho. Monday through Friday videos on designer and contemporary fashion. Bye guys and take care. I love each and every single one of you.